Hello, lovely Libra. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. So we're using a brand new deck of cards. This is my early Christmas present from my husband. Okay, I got I got a few. You're spoiling me this year, definitely. Uh, so these ones are elemental oracle cards. Uh, so they use the elements that are all around us to be able to help uh, tell you what's going on in your life, help, help you find some direction, help you bring some guidance forward from a higher power. From the powers that be and we got a bunch that are ready to fall out here so let's get going let's see what's going on for you guys so we have fire which represents ignition so it, it's a lot like the yang card it's speaking of that action uh, it can speak to a masculine energy as well guys but definitely the need for action changing doing something moving forward I do have beginnings east, like the sun rising in the east. It's time for a new beginning. Maybe it's time to, to take the steps to choose a new beginning for yourself, to build a new beginning. And I have air, which represents emotion, guys. So life is fluid. Life is ever-changing. And sometimes you've got to be able to roll with the punches and sort of think on your feet and keep moving. So something's coming along. There's something going on in your life, uh, and it's actually changed your perspective that you need a new beginning and that's what this air card i see in it that that you were well on your way you were sort of happy in whatever you were doing and then an event happened and it completely changed the way you were looking at things i do have passion which represents the soul as well you need to do something to heal and feed your soul that is what this new beginning is going to be about this is going to be about healing this is going to be about growing as well and I have bushfire, which represents fury. So we're dealing with some emotions here. This is very emotionally charged, this change for you. And this might involve somebody else in your life as well, who is a big part of this event. Um, but it definitely shook the world around you. And that's what this bushfires is speaking to as well. Uh, and definitely things sort of going up in smoke, so to speak, uh, whatever you were building towards. But it definitely, whatever this was, this life-changing event, it changed your perspective. It is life-changing because you're going to be changing your path now. You're feeling the need to move forward and make different choices and choose a new way of being in the world. I do have the Six of Swords, which is a great card to have, guys, because it does speak of transition, but it represents going from stormier times to calmer ones. This is a beautiful transition card. This is, we are going to be moving in a healing way. We are going to be growing, moving forward and building happiness. I do have the King of Pentacles here. So this King of Pentacles, uh, he can represent su success. He can represent uh, wealth when he speaks to a person because Pentacles is uh, sort of ties into those earth signs. He can speak to somebody who is a, a, a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn. Uh, he can also speak of somebody uh, who's successful, uh, sometimes wealthy, self-made. They like to build things with their hands, do things with their hands. They could be in the medical profession. They could be a tradesman or a farmer. Um, so this might be who you're dealing with as well. This might also just be speaking to a need to grow a new future. He might be representative of you finding success, finding that inner peace. And I have the chariot card as well. So the chariot card is all about perseverance. It's all about moving forward in a positive way. And the lover's card. So we are talking about a relationship here. So it might be a relationship that came to an end or time for a new beginning, time to choose a new way of being in a relationship. Whatever it is, it's tied to this bushfires though. So this might have been something that the other person chose to do that sort of rocked your world and it wasn't... It, I'm going to just say, guys, it was negative. It was not a positive thing that happened. Whatever this was, it changed the way that you looked at them. It changed the way that you viewed your relationship with them. And there's a lot of emotion in all of this as well. I also have the King of Swords. So this King of Swords, uh, he can represent somebody who's very cold emotionally. He doesn't uh, feel or release his feelings. He doesn't talk about his feelings. He holds things in. Uh, Swords does tend to represent uh, air signs, so we are talking about you guys. This might represent your energy, and maybe you're not processing these emotions. Um, it definitely speaks of being true to yourself as well. Those are the words that I see in my mind, be true to you. So looking after you, looking after your needs, and that might be where this new beginning is coming in and finding that that healing and that moving forward, that the passion card that represents the soul is talking about. I do have the star card. 
intuition was the word that came to my mind when I saw this. So trusting your intuition about whatever this bushfire is, whatever this event that's going on. And it might be an untruth that you're having to uncover. Um, it might be something that they lied about. Uh, they maybe built themselves up, made themselves seem like the king of pentacles uh, when they weren't. So it's some sort of an illusion. There was something that you had to uncover there, guys. I think queen of pentacles, interesting. I think there is a third party here, and I think that's what the Queen of Pentacles represents. You didn't know. You didn't know about this queen, though. This is what you had to find out. Um, he, hid, he hid her from you, and he hid you from her. So he's... That's why I kept looking at him thinking like, okay, he's, he's sitting there looking like he's hot shit, like he thinks he's fantastic. That's why, because he was playing the field, he had two different people on the line. Well, that would explain all the all the power that I get behind that fire card and the emotion that goes along with it. It's almost like, I, the word that comes to my mind is rage, like very, very angry. I also have the Nine of Pentacles, which represents happiness. It represents abundance. And this is going to come from choosing a new beginning. This is going to choose come from choosing to deal with these emotions, from moving on uh, from, from this life-changing event, finding that healing, choosing a new beginning. I also have the Six of Cups, so leaving the past behind. There's a need to leave whoever this was behind in the past, what happened in the past, process the emotions, and then move forward. That's what the cards are speaking about today. Uh, this Queen of Pentacles, she keeps popping into my mind. So she might play a part in this. Uh, I feel like, I get the word karma. She's going to deal with the King. So I... I don't know, she she knows what's going on. She's going to deal with him. So you don't need to do nothing with this king aside from walk away and heal yourself and heal your soul. Uh, she's she's going to deal with him. He's going to get her, his from uh, from his queen there. She's going to hang a fucking licking on that one. Alrighty, guys, that is what the card said to me today. And I hope that you enjoyed the read. Remember, um, if you guys want to participate in the free read giveaway, I'll have all the information about it in the about section uh, of my channel. I'm going to leave a little blurb in there from now on so that I don't have to save my spiel at the end of every read. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and thank you guys again so much for tuning in. Take care.